We want to welcome District 97 with us today. You guys sound fantastic. Oh my God. Just amazing. Um, they're playing tonight at Headliners with Little Atlas. That's who's opening. It all starts at 9 o'clock. The uh, latest album is called Hybrid Child, and that came out last year. You got a new one in, in the works? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Indeed. Yes. Well, we're, we're talking uh, with, with Leslie, yeah. the lead singer for the band. And um, uh, Leslie, uh, uh, we, we would like to go ahead and mention that because this is, a, this is an interesting part of the history of your band. Uh, and a view, especially, is that you were a uh, finalist on American Idol. I was a semi a semifinalist yeah. mm -hmm. in the top ten, and that was in 2007. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Did you ever see yourself singing prog rock? Was this the? Um, I hoped that I would get the opportunity to sing in an, in an exciting band like this. Yeah. Um, I, you know, my dad listened to Prague, you know, when I was growing up, and all, as well as like, uh, you know, avant-garde jazz and a lot of Frank Zappa and stuff like that. And so um, when I heard this band originally, um, they were just instrumental, and I was, and I was just like, um, I want to be in your band. <laughs> 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 and they're they they gracious enough to uh, take me. So. Yeah. Did you uh, do the uh, whole audition process kind of thing, or? Uh, or are they already familiar? We got we guys all already went to familiar with our... we Oh, okay. To, yeah, we all went to music school and. Um, I had, had actually opened up, like, just because I have a solo thing I do as well. I play piano and, and I write, and, um, and so I, I kind of opened up for District 97 when they were instrumental. Oh, and, wow. And so then I stuck around to check out them, of course, and so Jonathan had already kind of, you know, been familiar with my, with my music and Yeah. Stuff. This is not easy music to sing. This is very challenging. I mean, you know, just uh, you're, you're going in so many different directions and hitting all these kind of strange notes. It's not like your normal standard sort of thing. Um, did, you, did you used to sing jazz? I mean, you mentioned your dad had an avant-garde Yeah, jazz I haven't collection. sang a bunch of jazz, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I studied music composition more in college than I did voice. But, um, but yeah, I'm familiar. My mom was a jazz singer, you know, growing up. And um, I'm familiar with this stuff. But I really have always just... I've been in a I've been in a bunch of bands that that do a bunch of different kind of music and this is my focus now but I've done you know I don't know, I, I kind of can sing a bunch yeah. of different styles. Now the drummer of the band, um, uh, tell us you actually did you start this Jonathan? Was this your project originally? Yeah, this is my Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> if you will. Um, yeah, it start, the roots go way back. Um, I was playing with the bassist Patrick for quite a long time, going back to the fifth grade, wow. and then we met Rob several years later in high school, and so we had various outfits that we were in. And uh, after a few years, we decided to kind of get started again, and uh, that's kind of how this came to be. You know, I, I try to think of contemporary bands who are doing this kinds of, kind of music, and I really can't think of any. I mean, this is who? Wax Fang. Well, I mean, no, this is a little bit this is a little bit different, in my, in my opinion, anyway. So, so, so what you're doing is, I mean, did you grow up with this kind of stuff? Or, uh, well, the way I kind of got into the whole progressive rock thing is I was probably 13 or so, and I was just listening to the radio, and Yours Is No Disgrace by Yes came on, and I was just flabbergasted. Yeah. Yeah, you guys know, know what I'm talking about there. <laughs> <laughs> just seemed to encompass so many different things I was interested in. So from there on, I uh, just started to explore further. Wasn't there a member of Yes who's been, like, praising you guys recently. Uh. Um, yeah, Bill Bruford was the founding drummer of Yes. Um, Patrick and I got to go down to Memphis and hang out with him for a day, and I got to shoot a couple videos, which are on YouTube, if you'd like to search for that. And uh, Bill had a lot of nice things to say about our CD, which was extremely flattering. I would think so. I mean, this is like the band that, you know, kind of got you into this, and then you get to meet the drummer. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, one of the members from King Chris Crimson, uh, John Wetton, has been also been um, giving you all a lot of praise, too. Yeah, he has. He just emailed me one day out of the blue asking for me to send him one of our T-shirts, which uh, <laughs> at first I thought was a prank, but um, I hope it's not because he's agreed to sing on our next CD. Oh, so that's hopefully so cool. it's really him. Have you all <laughs> yes? Have you all started to record your next CD? Is it? We have. Yeah, we've gotten. Uh, we're probably a good two thirds or more of the way through. We've got most of the instrumental stuff done. Going to add vocals and should be done tracking in January. Are you working with a producer on this one? Uh, well, some of the engineers we're working with are uh, very helpful in that regard, but there's no. 
designated producer. We're kind of handling it ourselves. Is this in Chicago? Yep. Is it a is it a particular studio or a home studio or? Yeah, it's called In Vault Labs. It's mm-hmm. an old bank vault. It's a few blocks north of Wrigley Field. Huh. Cool. Um, you all played at a festival, Cal Prague. Was that this summer that you played? Was that last year? Uh, that was that was last year. Then we also played uh, the Rites of Spring Festival um, in May, which was really fun. We've got a couple people who were at that show in the audience here. Yeah, and uh, and where 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 was the Rites of uh, Spring? That was in Gettysburg. Okay. Well, I think it's really cool what you're doing, and um, I wish you all the best. Uh, I don't know if you want to take a moment and introduce everybody in the band to us, John. Uh, yeah, well, I'm Jonathan. I play <laughs> on the drums, drums, yes. <laughs> uh, we've got Rob Clearfield on keyboards and a bit of guitar also. Mm-hmm. And we've got Patrick Mulcahy on bass. Mm-hmm. Leslie Hunt on lead vocals. Yeah. And Jim Tastian on guitar and backing vocals. Excellent. Well, they're playing tonight at Headliner. Show starts at 9. Little Atlas opens. Let's welcome once again to WFPK's Live Lunch, District 97. The song is called Back and Forth.
sick. It's Pat Mulcahy on bass. Jim Tash and Hunter. All right. Well, moving right along. Uh, that was called The Back and Forth. This is called Open Your Eyes, both of which will be on our next record. Yeah. Leslie wrote this one. Speaking of music composition, right? Yeah, I, I wrote this one. I know how crazy it is Thinking it's love when it's the opposite Confusing defenses for abandonment Purple skin you can't convince that you're fine That you're fine I know the story as well as you Flames into ash and then nothing Signature that you would be rid of this life pretending as much as it feels like a bad it is in for a sec without a needle you can give a double check the light is a feather not so frightening now you can go where you want it to now you can take what you want it to Thank you so much. All right. 